Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little bit different of a video for you guys. It's not car related, it's more technology related and I went through this problem and I know some people are probably experiencing the same issue and I wanna help you guys out. So the first thing you guys are probably doing by clicking on this video is trying to figure out how to restore your backup from your iPhone. <clears throat> now these recommendations are the steps I took and hopefully the first few recommendations will fix it. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do is to make sure you have the most updated iTunes. So you have your iPhone backed up, but you're unable to restore the backup. You're getting whatever error. First step is going to be updating iTunes, making sure you're on the most current iTunes, and then try restoring from your backup. Now, if you're still unable to restore from your backup, I want you to make sure that your iPhone is also on the most updated iOS. So you want your iPhone and your laptop to be as updated as possible to the newest version of software. If you've done both those things and you're still coming up with errors, this, the third step I want you to take is to get a brand new cable um, that connects from your computer, your desktop to your iPhone. Now what this does is sometimes they become frayed or damaged and the connection isn't able to go through and restore your backup. So you want to be on the most updated iOS, iTunes is updated, and have a new cable. Do all those things, try and attempt to restore your backup. Now if you're still coming up with errors, you're going to have a bigger issue on hand and unfortunately this is what happened to me. So what happens? When you restore your, when when you put a backup on your laptop, it puts it in your storage. So if you go and type storage, in your bottom left corner, and then you click storage settings, you're gonna have other. Other is where. Here, let me zoom in on what I'm exactly talking about here, because I want you guys to be as informed as possible, because this is a very frustrating thing to have happen, and I want you guys to be as well informed as possible. So other is where, uh, the, where iTunes stores your backup. So you click other, let it load, give it a moment, and if you click here, you, you have user Alec, my name, Apple. So this is where my backup is located. And then mobile sync. Mobile sync is your backup. And you click it again, and you have your backup folder. And the, the, this number, these series of numbers, is your backup. Now, if you're having errors, what could be possibly happening, happening is your iPhone is restoring the backup, and then it just suddenly stops. And if it's suddenly stopping in the middle of the backup, what might happen is this folder might duplicate and it might make additional backups. It might make backup, 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 and that's because your laptop is running out of space. Now the fourth step I want you guys to do is if it turns out your laptop is running out of space, I want you guys to be able to free up two to four gigabytes of space on your laptop. Now, after you free up two to four gigabytes of space on your laptop, you want to try and attempt to restore your backup. Now, if you still have issues after you open up a little bit of space, I want you to come back here and look at your system storage. Here, let me pop it up. And if it is completely full after you just made some room, unfortunately, I'm gonna back up here. Unfortunately, the problem actually isn't with iTunes. It's not a problem with the iOS, it's a problem with the iPhone. And unfortunately, the problem with the iPhone is internal. I'm not exactly sure, but I went to Apple. My phone was still under warranty, and I got the phone replaced under warranty. I put the, plugged the new phone into iTunes, and then voila, it restored the backup, no problem. So I hope these solutions help you guys out. I have about 10,000 pictures I just about lost. I didn't have an iCloud backup, 
So I hope that if you guys run through these steps, you're able to get those important memories back because I sure as heck know when I thought I was going to lose a bunch of photos, it was not a good time. So I hope you guys run through these steps and the first few fix them. If not, then unfortunately you're probably going to have to get a new iPhone. But I wish you guys the best of luck. Feel free to leave a comment uh, down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I'll definitely get to you guys uh, and try and come up with a solution. All right, best of luck.